Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. We're checking out a game called Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. Now, it's really hard to actually acronym that down or to remember the title of it, but essentially all you really need to remember is this is Rocket League. Yeah, this is the precursor to Rocket League. This is a game made by Psyonix in 2008-2009 for PC and for PlayStation that nobody really remembers. We've been playing Rocket League for at least eight years. So there's a bit of a history to the sport, you know? There's a hidden history to the sport of RC rocket-powered football. This game's been around for a few years. I've had it for a few years. I've never played it in the entire time I've had it. I mean, whenever it first came out and I got this game, I noticed it because of its weird title. But I never played it because I never had a reason to. And then Rocket League took the world by storm after its initial release on PC and then full release to PS4 and PC and then later Xbox One. It's it's brought a lot of people together. It's one of those games that people want to actually have cross-platform cross play because it's... It's not different between different platforms, it's really well constructed. And because it's really well constructed, it was hard for people to imagine that it was out of nowhere that we came up with the game, where why did we not do cars playing soccer before? We've seen it on TV, we've seen people doing it with real cars. We've seen RC car football playing it before, but why did we not put it into game format? Especially when of the fact we have the fine-tuned controls of being able to rocket propel ourselves through the sky while we do it. Now, obviously, this existed. Most people didn't pay attention. I didn't pay attention. Maybe we should now. So let's, look, let's take a little look into the history of RC football and um, check it out. So we're looking through the game's men menus. You've got play online, split screen, local multiplayer, which is kind of cool because they managed to, they remembered to keep it with us for the newer game because this is the kind of game that starts off with couch co-op and then has spread to multiplayer online everywhere. But obviously... It has a mini, it, has, it actually has like a, a campaign single player mode, which I am baffled by, but I suppose it's kind of, uh, if you're going to be playing alone, and it's a lot easier to do that rather than just the flat AI kind of battles that you can do in Rocket League, which is something I wouldn't mind seeing coming back in Rocket League, being able to add these little mini games and tournaments in, because I've played through a couple of them, and they do, they do, they kind of hold your attention, but they always teach you a little technique that makes it easier to play in multiplayer as well afterwards. So after, since I've already completed through these earlier ones, I'm going to just jump into a slightly more difficult one, I suppose, or just a, a, the next tier of them to see what it's actually like. So demolish 10 or more of your opponents before the time runs out. Be okay, so I just need to boost into people. Works for me. So this is just teaching you about the damage effects that you have whenever you're chasing people down on the track. And boom! There we go. That's more like it. Uh, I need to get myself a tank here. Oh, supersonic speed. And boom. And boom. And boom. Oh, that wasn't enough. <laughs> I need to actually pick up more speed before I start slamming into more people. Um, yeah, this guy's still left. So where is... Ah, Christ. Use that power slide I learned in the last one. So yeah, I threw this game on and tried to record the first 15 minutes already, but obviously I had technical issues and I had to redo this again. So I'm trying to think of all the points I brought up during the gameplay. Like, the controls for the vehicles feel a little bit stiff. They, I mean, they don't feel as fluid as the ones do in Rocket League for the vehicles. And that's not because of control pads or platform or frame rate or anything like that. It's just the, the, the cars themselves don't feel as responsive. They, they feel much more like RC cars than uh, just miniature, like actual vehicles or actual full-size vehicles that we think are running around the track. Um, it's understandable why. I mean, they, prob they probably had more chance to kind of tweak and finesse the controls in their, um, in the, the, in the sequel. But oh, it's just the concentration of trying to hit these guys at the same time. Uh, I'm going to run out of... I've got no boost. I need to pick up a tank here and actually be able to chase after them. That's more like it. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Did that two guys actually sitting together? Is that the reason why I couldn't hit them? All right. Where is it? And boom. Gotcha. All right. Is that enough? All right. Well, I've got one star anyway, so that means I've completed the mission to a satisfactory degree, but I've still got a minute to go. Let's see if I can make use of it. 
just destroying folks, just pounding it, just pounding it. Ah, there we go. So um, the arenas look very familiar. I mean, look at this; looks like one of the arenas that is in the the sequel of the game. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the defaults that we had at the very beginning before they started expanding with all that DLC. I mean, Rocket League itself has become a bit of a DLC uh, whore, I suppose would be the word for it. I'm trying to think of the right word. Because uh, the amount of movie licenses and character licenses they've managed to wrangle into Rocket League makes absolute sense. I mean, they all work. They're all vehicles and cars that are iconic from TV, film, and comic book history. But, uh, yeah, I I'm sure uh, pretty much they found their model on how to actually monetize the gameplay, while this was probably much more of a focus for uh, just mechanically being enjoyable. Well, they've got that down, so now they had to spend a lot more time just kind of figuring out, like, why do we keep people playing this game after they've kind of gotten into it? Which, um, if you give me a Batmobile or a DeLorean to fly, run around in, yeah, you're going to do that. And also with the variety of sports that have added into it since. Now, with all these little mini games, these just feel like the kind of things that you could put in as, um, do you know, like, low, but you know, while you're waiting for a team to get together in Rocket League, while you're waiting for people to match up, being able to go into a mini game like this would be absolutely brilliant. Yeah, go into the net, go into the net. And boom, in you go. And boom, in you go. And get you from the bottom of the field up. Whoa! Boom, in you go. Boom, in you go. Oh, shit, that bounced off of another ball. I wonder if it actually knocked that one in for me. Mm, boom. Got a little bit of momentum. I like the fact that the balls kind of have a, a light source to make it easier to see them because they don't have the ball cam. The ball cam is a very important thing to me in Rocket League because I don't ever turn it off. I, I'm kind of used to being able to navigate the map because there's no barriers or boundaries or anything in the way that... Um, allow me to just focus on keeping the ball in sight and being able to make it to that at all times. Keeping your eye on the ball is half the game. In this, it feels a little bit more awkward because you're kind of like just assuming where it is, trying to judge shadows and judge that pointer, which is very, very difficult. Right. Uh, dodging and double jumping are important skills for volley plays tutorial to learn these skills. See, this is this reminds me a lot more of um, a... I suppose, uh, like Rocksmith, maybe? Yeah, have you ever played Rocksmith? It's kind of like, it allows you to play all the songs in the game whenever you feel like, but whenever you go to play songs, it's like, you, it kind of requires this skill to be able to do it. Do you want to play that little tutorial that tells you specifically how to do that thing before you do this? Even though it's not teaching you how to play this song, uh, it's it. the idea of techniques is pretty cool. All right, what was that? Or do I have to backflip into these fucking things? Where is the next ball? Oh, there it is. Boom. Yeah? Ah. Oh, that's the whole point. I'm trying to knock them off of their little pedestals. Ah, uh, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um. Oh, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> it's about letting yourself get your full extension. Did it go down? Did I get it? Oh, yeah, I did? Huh, sweet. Oh, no. And coming back down the other way. Ugh. Nope, missed it. <laughs> I am feeling miserably at this. No, no, missed it. <laughs> uh, one, two. Did I get it? Two. There we go. Uh, ten seconds remaining. No. Nope. Uh, there, there we go. Uh, no, I don't want to play that one again because I didn't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> ten were balls. Okay, so it was ten was the score. Did I get ten the last time? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll see if we get it this time. Boom. One. Two. Three, four, five, uh, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right, so I did make it to the ten the last time. I'm just going to go for the high score now. Oh, man, that was actually a bit of a docker one to get to. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Boom. All right, 11, 12. Well, see, it's just the fact that I'm tensing myself. Oh, it's just I'm trying to extend myself to get it. And I've realized I'm actually on face cam now, so I should probably con those two contortions to a minimum. All right, I have no... Oh, that's why I'm going to have to do this one. Let's take the ramp. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was unintentional. Nope, didn't get it. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I made it through that mission. So, yeah. I might actually just play another um, tournament match because that's the way I kind of laid it out. I did a few mini games and I played a tournament match to kind of um, round off the 15 minutes experience because everything in here reminds me, reminds everyone of Rocket League. So I just kind of want to see proper Rocket League, I suppose, being played rather than actually watching me run through a bunch of mini games like I was playing Virtua Tennis World Tour or so on. Okay, so defeat sabotage. One guy, one on one. Bring it on. Oh, yo, yo, this is sabotage. <laughs> I'm really surprised if they actually like put a sound sample of the bugger in it. Uh, oh! Boom! In you go. On me head, son. I like the fact that it goes above the replay. Yep, yep, I'm on board with that. Boof! There it goes. Who won? Contenders, you shall go on my first whistle. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> no 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 no! Ah! Oh. I should have defended that. Yeah, that was a that was a cheap goal. Let that one in. Oh whoa! Shit! Boom! <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would work. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, do you want to block that? Fuck you. <laughs> Suck my tailpipe. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> God, I knocked that one in myself. <laughs> I'm messing around too much. Right, we need to get a quick goal in here. Even the scores, even the scores. Oh, nope, that's not good. He got that one down there. Oh, shit, 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 shit. All right. Oh, no, that wasn't a smart move. Come on, get on back in your wheels. <laughs> I was happy to boost that one backwards. Yep. Oh, nope. Didn't get that one. Overshot it. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't feel like I'm controlling this very well. <laughs> Come on, ball. Ugh. See, I don't feel like I can turn as quick as I... There we go. <laughs> I felt like I got in at least. It doesn't feel as fluid in the turning, reversing, and spinning around. I, it, there's less wheel spin in a way. There's no kind of like skidding slide to a turn. I miss that, because especially with the fact that they imply a handbrake in the... Oh, that is not good. Bye. <laughs> oh, come on, get to the floor. Why did it... Why am I letting it get that close? <sighs> Boom! Oh, no, no speed! No speed! 
Oh, come on, get in. Yes. <laughs> I just trickled that one in through. Oh. Rocket, Rocket League is very gratifying. This is just as gratifying as Rocket League. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Would have been glorious if I could just got over onto that. <sighs> Whoop. Self right. There we go. Oh, God, I, that's the reason why I don't I don't like this game whenever the ball gets vertical, which is something that is so much more enjoyable in Rocket League because you can track it so much better. Oh Jesus! Oh son of a bitch! Four seconds left. Oh god damn it. Oh shit! Get back on your sudden so death overtime. Okay, bring it on. I'm sure it's gone over 15 minutes now, but I need to win this match. Boom! All right. Oh, you son of a bitch! You feel so much more fluid than I do. No, don't want it to go that way. Do not want it to go. Where'd it go? He, oh, fuck, he's got it all, all the way down, he's got it all the way down, he's got it all the way down, no! <laughs> go on, lead it down the line. Go, 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 go! Boom, finished. And it's over. <laughs> oh, yes. So, scores for this versus Rocket League. Just as good, if not a little bit more frustrating. Um, tighter, harder controls with a lack of uh, ball following camera. This could be really good fun. I highly recommend it to anybody who's not, who doesn't already own Rocket League, doesn't have the money for Rocket League, and is interested in seeing the history of the game, where it came from. This is uh, supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. Going to be a pain in the bollock to say to your friends whenever you're trying to explain what it is. Just say it's Rocket League minus one <laughs> or Rocket League zero or the beta of Rocket League because this game is really, really good fun. I'm sure you can pick it up cheap on Steam or on PlayStation 3. But limited on the platforms you can play it on, but I imagine uh, that won't stop many of you guys on the internet. So um, thank you very much for watching. This has been a first 15, slightly more than first 15, trying out supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars on the PlayStation 3. I hope to see you all in the next episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, share it with your friends. Tell them about it. Tell them about the cheap and interesting games that are available that we all might have missed out on, especially if you're a fan of Rocket League. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.